Hello and welcome to my tutorial series in which I'm gonna teach you how to scope the whole head of the character. The series is gonna have quite a few episodes. In the first episodes I'm gonna try to simplify the shapes of the head and make it much easier for you to sculpt the head in a very simple way. But the later one I'm gonna go more in depth and refine the features of the face in which you're gonna learn how to finalize the look of your character head. Okay, so first, let's just go. Um, I'm gonna delete what we don't need. In the modifiers, I'm gonna add subdivision. So we're gonna have a spare and apply. Okay, I'm gonna go into edit mode, scale it a little bit, cause it's a bit small. I'm gonna just turn on the screencast so you can see what I'm pressing in the, in the viewport overlay. I'm gonna turn on statistics and annotations. Annotations is only for you uh, because I'm gonna do a little bit of draw over from time to time. Okay, just let me drag out the UI so you can see what kind of brush I'm on. Okay. Uh, I think we can go. So I'm gonna start with a grab tool and drag from the front view. I'm actually gonna change the focal length a bit. You can, you should do it too. So the head looks the same. Um, I'm just gonna fatten up the sides a little bit, but as well as shorten up the top, flatten up. Go into side view and make the head actually bigger because we need to fit in those big brains. I will drag a chin out a bit. Um, so what I'm looking usually uh, a drawing tutorials are very amazing and learning the proportions and feature of the face. In one of the drawing tutorials, I learned that the top is like an egg shape. Excuse my horrible drawing skills. So this top is the egg shape and this one is like a boat sail. What we're looking at. So just keep that a bit in mind. I recommend you watching some drawing tutorials if you're not sure because they are like much faster way of you seeing what to do in the anatomy and proportion of the, the head okay so i'm already seeing that i have not enough vertices i'm just gonna increase the voxel measure to zero, 0 0.05 and activate it so gonna have twenty five thousand. If it's not 25,000 for you, you can just try lowering the value, but don't go too extreme because if you just press pressing it down and you're gonna remesh, it's gonna change really big. It doesn't change too big where the numbers are going to like till two, but two is gonna be pretty horrible, but after the one, Everything is gonna be very laggy, so just be very careful. I'm gonna go with five. Okay, so we have kind of the basic basic shape. I'm gonna add as well a neck soon. I'm just tweaking a little bit at what I prefer. And you should try to follow the shape quite close, but it, it doesn't have to be the same. I'm going to go in top view. And usually when you try start from the sphere, the, the end of your skull is going to be very narrow in. When in reality, the skull back is usually even a bit thicker than the front of the skull. I'm just gonna increase the mass 
we get the front view and OK. I'm going to go at the bottom, press on M to get a mask. Got my mask out the proportion, press A and invert the mask. And I'm going to use the drag, go to the side view and drag the neck. So neck is not down, not in front. Neck actually goes a bit to the side. I'm going to press A, clear the mask. Go back to my dragging, grabbing tool. I'm going to voxel remesh because after the dragging, the vertex is going to be messed up. And I'm going to try fixing the shape of the neck so it looks a bit more more natural. Okay, what I'm looking at the neck is having a nice, nice flowing shape from this one. It's more like this. So when I add the muscles, it should look something like that. I'm going to add another color just in case you don't see the flow, the flow, bump, inner bump, a nice beautiful flow of the neck. Okay, I'm just gonna smooth out a little bit. Um, let's go to the front and try and start shaping the head. I'm gonna use the draw sharp draw the line somewhere in the one third of the head we're probably gonna change the position of the eyes later on so don't be too much like oh it's not in place just like now i see that my head might be a bit too small it's a lot a lot of tweaking i'm gonna draw a holes for the eyes and I'm gonna draw the hole for the side actually use gray strips to take out a bit of the sides because we don't need it right now and with script we're gonna make everything a bit more flat and smooth up Just a small tweaks. Making it neck a bit thicker at the end. Probably made the neck a bit too long. Okay, so I think this is where we end with the head welcome to the part two where we're gonna sculpt the nose um, so let's just go the third thing i see that i'm not gonna have enough of vertices so i'm just gonna increase i'm being cautious on how much i'm gonna put in i'm gonna try putting yeah i think that's enough 0 0.025 I'm just gonna smooth the shapes because after adding more vertices everything is very flat now it much better I'm just gonna change a matte cap and you as well should try and test out a lot of different matte caps you have and choose the one you like if you like mine, I'm going to put in the link on where you can get it. Okay, so let's start with the nose. I'm going to just use the clay strip to draw the shape. Only worry about the bridge. 
when you have something poking through the mesh, you can go to the side view and use the grab tool. So now we can see. We can see what the nose bridge actually is doing. There's a few th few ways you can draw a nose bridge shape. I'm gonna I'm gonna show the one I like. So the head usually goes okay, sorry. The head usually goes quite quite overly shaped. And the nose comes in being quite flat and having a nice nice drop line. It can definitely be drawn a lot of different ways but try to follow my shape it's gonna be a bit easier you can have a bit of the inner side have a bump so don't worry too much but try to to stay close to my shape okay I'm gonna take out a bit from the side so we're gonna have a flatter surface to work with which is gonna be a bit easier for us to control I'm gonna smooth it everything looks very uh, same thickness which is good for now um, when you have a bridge go to the side view and use the brush you like, I'm gonna use the clay strips and draw like a ball shape don't worry too much on how big you draw, you always have a a grab tool I'm gonna add some more to the side the bump now I can draw the holes I'm gonna use the scope draw it's very good for making the holes I'm gonna make the nose bottom a bit more flatter the poking of the nose because nose can be straight but I like to add a bit, a bit of the bump at the end make it a bit more thicker I already can see that I'm gonna like a bit of the vertices so I'm very slowly gonna try increasing okay 300 is a lot but it should be okay it shouldn't be too hard to control it yet I'm gonna use draw sharp and draw in the whole nose shape So what people usually miss about the nose um, is that the nose actually from this it goes in into nose and it has this entering it can be very minimalistic visible but it's usually still there I'm gonna just draw on the surface I 
I'm gonna still thicken this. Another thing is that usually the thickness of the nose should be quite sim same through, through all the side of the nose. Mine is a bit thicker, but I'm just gonna increase the size of the nostrils. Don't be afraid to smooth, but just don't use it too much on where you're gonna lose. So we have a pretty simple nose, which looks decent. Welcome to the eye sculpting part. And I'm gonna try and sculpt that as simply as possible. First, I'm just gonna go into layout and add some spheres, go into edit mode, with date them on X axis 90 degrees. And just try to fit in, in the place where it belongs. Mirror mud fire, where is it? Go back into object mode, select the head and go back to sculpting. Okay, so first a small explanation. An explanation goes like this. Sorry again for horrible drawing skills. So the eye is like oval and uh, the top bone of the eye socket usually hides some of the eye. So usually the eye goes a bit more up than down. I will end up probably dragging a bit of the bone down on the eye. And the placing of the eye You can change it, but don't change it too much. This is where the bone of the ends. I'm gonna have this flat here. The distance between the eyes and the nose. Same, should be quite same. That's where I try to put in my eyes. It can be different, but just try it keeping on this rule. I'm gonna drag in the nose bridge a bit so we can see more of the eye. Okay, I go to the scope draw and draw the eye. It's gonna look very dumb at first, but don't worry about it. I say usually takes a lot of times to get them right. So usually your eyes probably looks like that all the time. I'm gonna Try and show what kind of ships I'm looking in. Uh, I'm looking to draw the eyes. Usually the eyelid goes like this. I, usually, I sculpt women most of the time. So I'm trying to have my eyelids look attractive. What you can see is that this corner is lower than right corner. They can be at, at the same uh, same height as well. But don't put this one 
lower than the left corner. Another thing is on the Asian people eyelid this let me just add another color this eyelid goes in and this one goes over but on this side for everyone is the same this one goes over the lower one Let me just hide them. I'm gonna go to draw sharp. And draw. Sharpen the side. What you shouldn't forget is, let me use our drawing again. From the eye, okay. What the from the eye, the eyelid thickness it's always the same. Same in here, same in here, same in here. Another thing, the thickness of the eyelid shouldn't be too too small. I see so many people doing the mistake of making the eyelid thickness way too small and nice having like this. It already looks weird, so I'm just gonna control C. Okay, you have to have a thickness and it has to be visible. I'm gonna use the draw chart to draw the lower one as well. Don't mind too much how you form your eyelids at the moment uh, because we have an amazing tool called Grab. I'm gonna separate the eyelids, use the crease brush and I'm gonna crease every single part of the eyelid, sharp places to make it a bit better, smooth. Now I can shape a bit with the grab tool. Make the corner make the curvature what is important in nice is use masks masks are so essential to get those tight places look good and we can just move i'm gonna check the side Another thing, the corner goes in. Don't leave it too flat to the face. I'm gonna use the draw sharp and just crease the sides. And draw the spherical shape around. This was a simple eyes. Next, we're gonna go with the mouth. So let's just go. I'm just gonna delete the annotations first. Okay. Uh huh. And let's go. Clay strips. And what we should start to know about the mouth is that the mouth is on a bump so we're gonna draw a bump of 
the shape where the mouth should be. Don't draw too big, but yeah, it is quite there. I'm gonna smooth, smooth, smooth. Might look weird, but don't worry. Draw sharp and let's form the lips. Okay, I'm gonna draw over and we'll tell you what I'm looking for is have an, a bit of spherical shape, drop down. Then we can have something on the top like this. So first, just take care of this, this crevice shape. I'm gonna use a crease already, increase this, because I wanna have a nice line. Draw the top of the lip as well. What is hard to make a lips for beginners is make them look neutral pose. So I'm gonna try explaining as well as possible. What looks weird when you draw like that is that usually the top gonna be a bit lower than the bottom one. And the chin is gone. I'm gonna drag the chin a bit out. Another thing very important for lips is the chin separation. I'm gonna mask the top of the lip, do a few smooths, drag the corners in. And chest, clear the mask. What I see as well is that the, sh the head became a very disproportional of everything. I'm gonna mask. We're gonna worry about the proportions a bit later when we're gonna go in more advanced. But I'm gonna mask the lips uh, inverted. And I'm gonna drag it a bit more up higher. Try to make a corners neutral. I'm gonna mask the top lip again because I left it lower than the bottom one. What I mean by lower is this one is more pushed out forward when usually the top one should be pushed. I have a mask where I don't want, so I'm gonna use the simple mask and clear from the lip, top lip. Clear. Draw corners a little bit in because the nose is not a flat. Now, while I'm looking from the top, is to have a nice oval shape. Don't forget it, oval shape. That's why we draw a bump. Oh, nice. Um, that's why we drew... We drew this bump in here. 
so the shape of the mouth is as well drawn in there it's a bit of the nose but I like to push up the corner top draw this don't worry about the face now just the lips I'm gonna make the lower lip shape a bit more spherical, spherical as well. I'm gonna use the crease to crease where we want to make shape look a bit more cleaner and yeah that's a quick nice simple lips I'm actually gonna add the ears as well because the lips finished quite fast so the ear starts from the where the jaw and we're gonna use the draw sharp, draw in the jaw. Don't be afraid to leave the space. I've seen people draw the jaw in here. Or they too too scared and draw the jaw the jaw in, in here. The jaw is usually somewhere not exactly in the middle but it's not too far from it okay as well as i'm probably gonna even drag it a bit in where it's closer to the middle not too much now for the ears i just mask mask the shape i want try to uh, try to be very patient on what what shape you mask because it's gonna be the 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 the, 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 the basic shape of the ear. We're definitely gonna fix it with the grab tool. Or just keep it in mind. Um, what lines I'm looking at? How to proportion my 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 my, my ear is. The top of the eyelid, where the bone is, it's gonna be the top of the ear as well. And usually where the nose ends, draw the line straight. I already know that my nose is too low and I'm probably gonna make my ear lower because I didn't draw the line too straight. I'm not gonna make Air as well as big. I'm definitely gonna make my nose somewhere like here so it's gonna be more normal but I'm not gonna do it right now I'm gonna do it in when I'm gonna go more in depth on the features a bit later okay I'm just gonna hide don't worry too much we're just trying to make a simple 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 features I'm gonna go to the front then back and draw my beautiful ears it's gonna look look like locators but usually there is definitely visible outside of the head now what nice about drawing the ears this way is that we can invert the mask and now we can sharpen sharp and smooth and now i can draw grab the grab tool just grab and push the mesh inside the air forming an actual sheer ear shape 
a very quick and simple way. Smooth, smooth. I'm gonna clear the mask, see what we got. Just move a bit. Okay, I draw it a bit too high. But not worry about now. Um, as well, what I look in the airship is have a nice drop. I'm just gonna draw an airship I'm looking at. The basic one goes like this. I'm gonna try fit in. Beautiful. With clay strips, I'm gonna add more mesh at the side because the air is connected to the face. I drew it a bit too. Okay. I'm gonna use sculpt draw and sculpt in the air. I'm gonna quickly explain what ship I'm looking at as well. So inside the air, we wanna have of course this thickness and two of the lines can i add it more better one in here and another one is connected but goes this way. This usually overlays at the top. Then we kind of have an air itself. Okay, so when we have the overdrop. And I'm just gonna go with it and actually show. I'm gonna use the clay strips. First, I'm just making a nice, nice, nice hole. Smooth. I'm gonna go back to sculpt draw because it's it's a bit faster to get a simple shapes. Make a quite clean cut close to the edge. Use the draw sharp. Draw a bit more inside. Very well. Smooth, 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 smooth. If you get it too slim, just like I did, I usually like using Inflate. Some people use another tools. If you like to use the scope draw, you can actually do it, but in the advanced options, you have to use for, for front face only. And like go at the top, add it, or at the bottom, add it. But with the inflate, it's just going to be faster. Okay. After a pulling, I seen that I'm missing a bit of vertices in this place. So I'm just going to save and remesh again. Use the jaw sharp to fix the airship. Okay, let's start and drawing that those shapes which I drew with the annotation. So we have a nice bowl like shape inside the air. 
and another one connecting to it. I'm gonna fill a bit of this gap because I drew in way too much. I'm gonna redraw. Drag this one a bit more in. Use the scoop draw. Make this one bend inside the air. And this one as well loops up and ends up in this bump. Well, that's what you get for finishing only the features of the face. Next one, I'm gonna go more in depth on every single part of the face and try to fix everything to look more professional. But this is how mostly like your head's gonna start looking at. A congratulations for going this far into the tutorial. And now, I'm going to share you an amazing secret on how to actually increase the level of your art of your head sculpting. So the first thing is probably that you see is that the eyes, nose, lips and ears as well as chin is not enough to make your face look normal. The face has some other things which is the bones underneath and the muscles. As well as the shape after putting these few things started looking a bit weird. So I'm gonna go to the back view and I'm gonna try start fixing the head shape. What I'm looking at is try to get a spherical shape. The bottom part is definitely flat. It's not a sphere, but overall it's pretty spherical. The side should be flat as well. Bottom pretty flat, but it follows a nice oval shape. I'm gonna go to the top view. As I told at the beginning, the back is usually thicker than the front of the scope. The side is pretty flat, but don't flatten it too much. Maybe I'll start looking a bit weird, but that's fine. Gonna drag in, need to hide a bit. As well as I drew the ear a bit too far, too high. The neck changes shape as well. And first fix the jaw. Everyone knows how the jaw shape should be like, but realistically, the jaw is pretty down as a sharp cut going up. A more stylized kind of characters will definitely have it going very clean shape I go somewhere in between and have it a bit down and up I'm 
that's what I look in for mink don't be afraid to put on the or on the volume the mesh at the corners I mean that at the side of the jaw it's all good sometimes I like to crease it just so I see the shape clear maybe first draw sharp it's gonna be a bit easier to follow the shape of it because it's much more visible right now even on the females it's fine to do it the face became feather which I'm gonna make a bit narrower Okay, you can see that the face is changing very, very quickly. So what beginners worry about is making the features, but the exact shapes are not getting fixed. That's why everything looks so weird. Even if you're gonna get a perfect features, if your face is not fixed, it's still gonna look weird okay so I told before that the nose and lips are way too way too much down on the face and it's actually it's still bothering me I'm gonna mask smooth the mask I just press a I press and hold a and drag my mouse down and release and I I keep doing this motion and have a really smooth mask. Now I'm gonna drag it a bit more. Clear the mask. And it looks already a bit better. Another thing I told is that, yeah, we got a features, but we don't have a head a face, muscles and bones itself. So the third thing, I like to shape a triangle. You should look at the reference photos of how the muscles are actually in the face. But I draw this one like that. And I told about the triangle. That's where I see the triangle. So in this shape, it's where your cheek lays down, like bo cheekbone. I'm adding this because I'm trying to make a face smoother, as well as having this go straight. I'm gonna smooth and see how it changes the head you see if we just add everything and we leave this empty it's gonna look weird that's why we add more in between to make a shape look natural because the skin follows the features it doesn't matter if it's a female or a man it usually, usually goes the same now what I'm looking at the quarter view quarter view is what the beginners mostly miss is have a shape drop to the eye usually have a bump even on the mouth you can have a bump draw it down now fixing this is not that simple because the qu quarter view is actually only the view where it not only depends okay let's firstly say that nose nose looks this way right remember the shape of the nose now 
If I change it only on E axis, it doesn't matter how I draw. The node looks the same. The only difference is the shadow. Let's try it again. Everything looks the same. It's just the light changes. So even if it looks the same this way, if I go to side view, I see the difference. And a third, the fourth core review, this doesn't matter how you go, you're always gonna see the difference. That's why you have to be very careful on how you change into Y and X axis, because it's gonna make a difference on both of those views. The simplest ways probably would be first dragon on one axis. I want to increase so I'm dragging it out. It looks already better, but on the X it looks a bit flat. So I'm going to drag it out on the X as well. Narrow the head. I made a chin a bit too high. Lips to separate it. A nice face shape. While smoothing everything, you probably end up not gonna see a muscle groups, which is fine if you're going for a stylized. But even for the realistic, you're gonna add it in everything later on anyways. I'm gonna re-mesh because I see a weird artifact. Save, don't forget to save. Now, what is left, it's going in further in and actually fixing every single feature again. At this point, it, it's very hard to keep attention of everything because one small change is gonna change the whole look of the whole face. Okay, so first, this is not gonna be enough for vertices. If you wanna go more in depth, I'm actually gonna go to somewhere here, 0 0.009, but be very careful how you change. I'm pretty confident in my computer. Okay, even for me, it's more than I need. If you have a weak PC, please be very cautious on how much you add. Okay. At 900,000, 800,000, it, it should be enough. Like it, it's lagging even 700 and 600 gonna be enough. So don't worry about that too much. Please be very careful on how much resolution you're adding in the voxel remesher. Okay. So I drew the eye shapes, but it definitely doesn't look anything like it used to look on what I draw. Just let me fix my camera view. Okay, so first we see that the thickness has changed. That's why is the problem which we're gonna go through probably again and again is fixing the shapes I'm gonna use pinch this time to pinch more resolution at the corner I mean the side of the eyelid I'm gonna smooth Now I see that my eye dropped a nice looking shape. 
So with the grab tool, I'm gonna try readjusting the shoe back a little bit, not too much yet because we're gonna do a still a lot of changes. We're probably gonna change the shape. Draw sharp, small pinch, and smooth. Already looks better. Now, what we're looking at the eye when we're making it. Firstly, this one should be quite straight. They shouldn't be wobbly. Another thing very important is that the top is higher than the bottom. Top one is more front than the bottom one. Another thing is that the eyes have the cuts going through this. So we're gonna put everything in very, very soon. Okay, I'd like to go to wireframe and see how big is my eye. You probably can't see too clearly in mine. But that depends how the corner is gonna look. If you're afraid to change something in one lid, please mask it. I'm going to actually do it right now and drag this one a bit more up. Make a shape more crisp. Some smoothing. Another thing people don't notice is that the side of the nose is a bit smaller and carved in where the eye corner is. Again, as I draw sharp, I'm gonna shape up more of the bone area. Be careful how, how high you make, it makes a very big difference in the mood of the eye. I'm actually gonna use the mask, mask the eye. On some ad caps, the mask looks weird, not very visible, so be careful about that as well. I see that my mask is too big, so I'm gonna shrink. Okay, probably end up. Wait, the shrink is too strong. Let's move and sharpen. Smooth. I'm just gonna smooth a few times then. I'm gonna drag the bone a bit more downer down on the eye, make a line a bit more straight, be careful on how I shape, shape the skull, uh, don't destroy the shape of the skull. Okay, use the draw sharp and where is the corner starts I'm gonna carve in and draw the eyelids bottom smooth okay the smooth tool at the blender can be very weird 
So I'm just gonna add a bit more mass of on my by myself. Okay. Now be afraid to use grab if you don't like how it's shaped. Now we're gonna fix the top as well. It usually does the same. This one starts from this corner where it starts bending in the corner. This one does the same. That's where your eye is starting to. Where's your eye is itself. That's where the shape is. I'm going to use the crease. Smooth. Smooth more because I see that I destroy some of the eyelid. Now we definitely have to add more mess at this. That shape is actually pretty complicated. It has a lot of different different shapes. I'm gonna try masking out and showing you. But you definitely have to still have some reference. Try using reference images, they're extremely important. This is where that gulp of the mesh gonna be. This one as well. There's even a difference in here. This, this, but don't, you don't have to keep everything in your mind. Just don't add, there's something at the right side on top of the eyelid where you have to draw and it ends somewhere in here. Smooth. I'm just gonna add a bit more. I really don't like how Blender doesn't have any good crevices drawing tools. I'm gonna try using crease and just slowly going through it. Can I actually Join more on here. A lot of Blender tools destroys the previous shapes if you're trying to go very deeply in. Which is annoying. But if you keep patience, you should reach what you want. Now I'm just gonna add a bit more mesh in here. It's it's just so the shape looks smoother itself. It's not that I'm following the muscles too much. I'm gonna use the scope draw and add a bit of bumpiness. And just overall more shape to the eyelid. Add the, I mean hide the eyes. Oh, I see a lot of not smooth shapes inside. And I'm gonna use the same tool to draw my corner of the eye. A 
looks weird for now because we have a lot of work ahead of us to go more in depth with the nose and the lips and this time we're gonna go over the nose but we're probably gonna finish the nose quite fast so I'm probably gonna end up adding some more to the lips let's not speak maybe too soon and let's go I'm gonna use the crease tool to try and sharpen up the shape of the nose so I actually see what's happening with it because it's too bubbly right now don't forget that the nose go in actually the nose didn't change too much shape too much shape from the original even if we did many changes to the taste okay so this is probably gonna be a very unattractive nose review going for female and exactly I'm going for a female so what I'm gonna do is try to make it more beautiful and the more beautiful does mean what it means make a shape a bit more smoothing so I did carve in the place the mission here but I'm gonna add some with the clay strip and smooth in and give a bit more triangle now the triangle doesn't go that much up so I'm gonna use a grab tool and just push it inwards push it inwards push it inwards as well as I have a pretty ugly ugly shape for the nose what I'm looking now is that this arc is not doing what I want now when I look I see that drops down and this shouldn't be dropping out that much so with the clay sculpt draw I'm gonna add some look at the side looks a bit better I see a strange artifact I'm gonna remesh Yeah, man, I'm going way too quickly so let me slow down a bit one of the hardest thing I found in the nose is actually getting this bump look decent you can go very simple straight down and it's gonna be working I usually don't like it that's I dragged in one a bit down and make this more bumpy but it can be very hard to find a shape you like probably made it too big as well as I seen this bridge became way too slim I'm just gonna fan it up sometimes using a flat brush and going through the features can make them a bit more bubbly and cute you see Now what I think is that other features making the nose look a bit ugly other features of the face
usually having not two open nostrils on females looks cuter. Yeah, let's keep the noses at that. Um, it's very hard to just go into features and make them finish. Usually go over everything and then change small details together one by one of every single feature. So as I told before, let's just go to the mouth for now. I'm gonna redraw the shape of the mouth. We still had that bump, that's why it didn't start from new. I'm gonna use the crease. I like this corner. Usually I go a bit more up at the corner. I'm gonna remesh. Okay, so sometimes the draw sharp is not the best thing. Sometimes just using a simple pinch can be good. The problem is it's probably gonna destroy some of the volumes of the mesh, but it's gonna give you a pretty smooth and slick move. As well, what you can do is like, when you use the the pinch, try remeshing. The only problem on the very high polys, it's gonna probably take very long time to remesh. Making beautiful female head is usually very hard because you have to have in mind so many small things. The smaller the mouth, probably the cuter it's gonna be. But not too small because it's gonna start look weird. I see that some of the mesh is gone away. There's a muscle group which goes over your mouth. I'm adding that right now. And it helps helps to build that bumpiness and puffiness to the lips as well. The shape can look weird, not because the lips look weird, but everything around the lips looks weird. That's why it makes, even if it's not the general shape itself, but only the things around make the main ship shape look weird. What I see already is that I made her face way too thick. I'm gonna smaller. Make it smaller, make it thinner, make it cuter. You see it looks decently fine from the front, but from the side it looks still pretty weird. Don't worry about it too much right now. I'm just I'm just uh, putting an attention to to you that it's very important not to work on only one view. Another thing is when I shaped, 
I ship the chin and the lips. Uh, that's a weird, not not good bump uh, formed on the down at the bottom of the lip. So what I'm gonna do is car car carve out and then add the ship, which I actually need. Smooth it out. Now, the lip shape is very hard to do the way you want. Make lips look buffy and nice. What I like to do is separate and hide the lip I'm not working on. So now we're gonna use one of the newer uh, tools of the blender is face sets. When I mask, I press W and there's a face sets from the mask. I'm gonna do that, but it's gonna show too much into viewport, which I don't like. So I'm just turning on that face sets or you can make it less visible but it's still way too I, I just don't like it you can keep it if you want it's it's not really it's just preferable thing I'm gonna clear the mask why it's still visible okay so I'm just gonna Press at the top of the face while hiding the bottom. Making a beautiful uh, lips as you think. Making the it's very puffy. It's cute and sexy way. Um, I'm gonna use the crease brush. Make this my brush quite small size and form this puffy middle. The crease is actually too small. I'm gonna crease it. Now I'm gonna. You can actually use face mask, faces like this. You hide one thing, mask it, unhide, smooth mask, and now you have it masked. And you can do the changes to one thing while seeing another one. As well, not hidden. Um, so I'm trying to add the puffy, drawing to puffiness to the lip corners. What makes lips look puffy is when they go over one another. Just be careful how much you deform your lips. It might end up looking very weird. Very, very weird. I'm gonna clear the mesh just to look. It looks not bad, but what I don't like is this one became way too small. Then to separate it from the lips. I'm gonna use the crease tool to fix the corners as well because the lips look way too separated. Use crease at the bottom of the lip to make it more look more puffy. 
gonna use pinch as well because I lost the shape of the lip. That's like what you're gonna have to do over and over again to to get what you want. And it is hard and it is time consuming. But that's the difference between pro and a beginner is that the pro gives the time he needs to go over the features over and over again to to achieve the look he needs, he wants. It's really no smoke and mirrors, it's just the time you have to go over the features. Okay, I actually end up seeing that I don't like how, how small my upper lip is. I'm just gonna mask the bottom one and make it bigger. I end up talking about that the nose can be straight and I'm actually gonna do it a bit straighter because I think it's gonna work out with how my character is looking. I think this is way too pushed. Okay. Now I'm just going to go over the ear. Or maybe I think that's the farest to go in this episode. So yeah, people just keep persistent on the features, keep going over and over again and make the shape and changes um, the way you want. Congratulations on reaching so far into series. Let's go over the airs to make them cute and beautiful for this female character. What I'm gonna do first is make them much smaller, change the shape. I'm actually gonna mask and make it go a bit more closer to the To the job. Okay, I'm gonna add a bit more mesh to the side because it looks like the part of the ears is too waste too much separated from the from the job. Can actually hide. Um, press H make for more facets and hide more things to make it a bit easier for your PC I find it actually helps lower the lag as you see a lot of the shapes from our earlier era is now gone but as well as we can add much more because we have a lot more of vertices so first what I like to do is shape again from this part. I 
as I told before, we're going over it again. Because that's what the best artists do. Being persistent and not giving up. Don't be too much afraid on how you have this one separated because it can be very, very, a lot of yarities on how you actually want to do them, do the separation. Okay, don't forget the back of there as well. What I usually do, we, we have a pretty decent shape up there as well. I'm just carving in. So we have that inner part look as well as carving the other part of the bump. And this we having a relatively good shape of the air already. Okay, don't forget uh, to keep saving up your project. Another thing might look weird is some of the views. But I think it has quite a nice flow. Maybe it has a bit too small cheek on the side. At this point, it's just going for preference and the more you're gonna scope the different preference you're gonna get and your preference gonna be a bit more clear and more correct on how you put in the shapes. Let's not forget to shape the bottom. And I'm just gonna finish up with the neck. We'll see that a small change in even to nose changes how everything looks. So without changing too much, I'm just gonna leave it at this and 
that's it. Now, um, I see a lot of people representing their scopes in a very bad way. I'm just adding one light, one simple, let's say, sun, because sun I get is the easiest to control. Let's go into render mode. They add more light so the face is visible. And this is probably how 99% of the beginners head sculpts look like, which you're not helping your head at all. Um, what I like to start, it's getting a nice HDDR. You can download and install them. I like this one a lot. I can add some strength. You can use scene light. Add blur. Some opacity. I think the rotation is is decent. Don't be afraid to add add some of the properties of the rendering. Add a high contrast and probably can add some subsurface, but better not. The head's usually never a good look. Uh, try getting a good mat cap and can actually make it a bit lighter, I believe. Some people don't know how to render from the view. Pretty simple, you can go to view and port render image. And you're gonna get a little bit better results. Um, but okay guys, um, I think that's it for the tutorial. Thank you very much uh, for watching this. Um, if you have some questions, you can go ahead and ask. But it's gonna be it. Um, well, first, I guess congratulations for finishing and see you next time.